how long will it take you? Where is it located to be perceived? How can it be recognized? Therefore, I use the term a non phenomenal recognition. Who can see this? What does it mean? It means somehow that which is is recognized, but not phenomenally, because it's not a phenomenon. It knows it is, but it cannot report anything about itself. About other, it can report, or otherwise, other is uh, reportable in its presence. Have I gone too far in saying these things? Then who are you now, in the light of this introspection? What are you left as? Who are you? Is this finding detrimental to your employment? What is the fear that somehow I won't be able to be a mother again to my children? What is the risk to see this? For what purpose to postpone? What is happening in the light of this question? Is it feeling claustrophobic in here? I need to get out. Go for a walk, because all of these reactions can happen through our minds, because it is as though when it comes to really looking, that somehow calls up a kind of questioning of the authority of our conditioned mind. It's like it's as though sometimes it can appear like something doesn't want you to find out. Tremendous. Uh, Distracting forces come into play. It's as though the mind starts to throw stones in the bush to get you to look somewhere else or something. Like the ability to really to focus is uh, there's only blind spots you can't see. But even if you cannot see, there's the seeing that I cannot see. Also, that understanding is there. Who are you? So in any focused inquiry of this nature taking place, and I say, I don't want the answers. I don't want your answer, because your answer is going to be wrong. I say, I don't want your answer, and you go, Oh my God, yes, yes. But even this uh, relief is not yours also. Just that the, the, um, an answer will merely be another concept. I feel answers sometimes at this level is cheap, actually. What is the response to this question? It can only be an insight or something, another kind of response that is not coming from the mind. I call this kind of question my Pirana question, meaning it eats up the questioner even. What happens? If you can hold this question in view, Without trying to, maybe the hand, the mind puts its hand up and yes, Miss, I can answer this question, but it's not it. Because this is also seen. Again, who is the seer? Where is the seer? Is there a seer? What is your finding? You see. So something gets deeply concentrated in this looking. Don't exchange this question for another question, for a lesser question. Sometimes when a question like this is asked, it's as though you're on the back of a wild bull, it's trying to throw you off. That you cannot even remember what is the question again. What is the question? But gradually you stay with it and something, a focus develops inside this question itself. And it's not that you receive only an answer. Hmm? At a certain point, 
any concept can be brought in your presence, and they will not hold power anymore. Try it and see for yourself. Any concept, the self, uh, the ego, mind, the world, all of this will feel nothing to you. Such is the potency of this question. That is not an answer that will satisfy. It is the question that is satisfying. When somehow this question holds such powerful appeal for you, then every other question becomes secondary, has no bite, has no influence, has no, has no attraction for you. So this means that the Self is in contemplation upon itself. This is what you asked me to talk more about. Now, somewhere in all of this, Mr. Mind is there, waiting for an opportunity to say, Well, but how am I going to live? If I follow this type of introspection, it, it is sensed in me that I will lose everything. How will I live? Somebody has to be around to take care of my children. How will I pay my rent? Because it is as though I have to give up everything to discover this. Then you may go to this voice and see out of which mouth is it coming. Who is speaking these things? Question it. How can I stay there? How can I stay there? Well, my question: How are you staying there now? By what metaphysical power are you being yourself now? By what effort? Is it unbearable? Is this introspection unbearable? Can you sustain? Are you holding it together? Is it like this? Or is it not seen that even this is a myth? Who is to hold what together? This is your seeing from your own self, effortless, the most natural, in my view, I say, the most natural. Meaning, what is natural must be synonymous with what is effortless. Must be effortless. And that seeing, it doesn't depend on all controlling the senses and taking it carefully and don't breathe too strongly. It's nothing to do with this. There are no conditions imposed upon it for it to be what it is. All of this is just a construct of mind. So what I'm asking from you, can you confirm or not? Because I would call that the highest sadhana. That as you are listening and searching, scanning your own environment for these eye seeds and see if can they be anything other than uh, phenomenal, conceptual, who is who or what is the seer of them? Where is the location of the seer? Can I be apart from this seeing center, if there is a center? <laughs> 